And that caught you right on the run. Okay. Hey guys, it's Nimbus Light, and today we are doing an actual podcast since the last one was an outtake because we went from Avengers to uh, Punisher like that. That was really interesting. Um, so I am your host, Nimbus Light. We're here with the Nerd Herd. So first off, we have our first co-host. Wait, Nigma. What? I thought we weren't going to do an intro because we're just going to tag this along with the first 10 minutes. Well, now I know Now I know what to put in the beginning of the intro role. So now there's going to be two intros in the video? No, I'll, I'll just put this intro for the, uh, for the, for the, um, before the actual intro comes. Like my comic book role thing again. But, um, anyway. So yeah, let's get right to it. Fuck the every, every, fuck everybody in their, everybody's introduction. This is Nemesis Dylan and has it with us. Um, so yeah, this is the nerd herd. Okay. This is the nerd herd. Um, never has something to say about Avengers, so I'm gonna let him go out, go with it. So go ahead, what you, what you had to say about it? But first, yeah, but just go, go ahead. And I'll explain. Just go ahead, Nemesis. Okay, okay. So Avengers is nowhere in sight when it comes to fucking YouTube and social media. But why the fuck is it on every single food item? Seriously, it's on everything when it comes to marketing. It's like on Dr. Pepper. I saw it on a box of fucking granola bars. Like, what What the fuck? How many deals did you fuckers make? Oh my god, oh my the Avengers are on every food item you can think of. Well, that's just marketing. That's just... That's that's marketing. That's how you make money. Like, that's how you make- I've never seen marketing like this before. Like it's everywhere. <laughs> Can you imagine Batman and Superman on there? Like Batman's on fucking tampons. Yes, you have Angry Birds. Like, like Batman. Jesus. And, yes, they're way worse than this. Bat eggs. Bat eggs. Get your freshly bat eggs here. Eat bats. Uh, yes, yeah, Susie. They were fucking everywhere. It's, I just, I, I don't know, it's, it's, I have my fucking Dr. Pepper box, and, like, <laughs> I need Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's fucking gross. It's fucking awesome, dude, it tastes like, it tastes like Coca Cherry, but, um, anyway. It tastes like So the first thing we are going to discuss. Bubbly sugar, like, bubbly sugar. Dr. Pepper is the, like, My favorite shit's real. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do another. Are we gonna do we're probably we're probably gonna like start just ha- dirty thirty hour video. Let's do let's do a video all about just merchandising. We'll just say different things that we sponsor. Now I'm going to sponsor this lamp. I don't know the brand, but it is made out of wood. Now I'm gonna sponsor my Marvel tag from my Punisher T-shirt. Yes, I just sponsored two things at once. Now I am going to sponsor my dick and other various things. Whoa. So, uh, I got a wooden, I got a wooden gun if I can sponsor that. Go we'll get yours, kids. Oh, wait, you fucking can't. Once you, once you start sponsoring things, I knew you were going to say I'm going to sponsor my dick. That's just very difficult. Okay, well, uh, let, let's, 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 let's stay on Avengers. Yes, let's stay on Avengers. Yes. Okay, let's so, 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 stop, 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 stop it, stop, stop it, stop it, we're not here to discuss, um, the back of Spencer's, we are here to discuss, okay, um, I have a question about the Avengers, what, is, what, question? why is it no one has kicked Iron Man's ass yet for being an asshole, that's well, what, I, that's Hulk's like, job in, in the, the, the if you look in the trailers, Thor starts choking Iron Man. So I yeah, think yeah, it's but... going to happen. Oh, why has there anybody? What do you mean? No. Why? Because he's such a dick, but but no one seems to care. They just let him be a dick, and it's not right. Someone needs to punish him. I think. That's a dick. Oh yeah, he's a dick, but he's a, he's, a, he's a superhero. He saves people. He's... Like, like, Bat- like Bat- Batman and Superman didn't get in a fight because Superman, so because Batman was kind of being a jerk a little bit. They got like, you don't just like you do like Civil War didn't happen because like because uh, Iron Man was being a douche and Captain America got fed up. No, it was because they had this, they had you know the whole the whether or not superheroes should have to reveal their identity. That's no one's just gonna kick the shit out of Iron Man just because he's a dick. 
Do, do you see that? Iron thing? Man was so in the wrong during the Civil War. He was so in the wrong. Every time I play Marvel Pinball and I play in the Civil War table, I always pick Captain America. I've never picked Iron Man and I never will. Okay. Oh, no. Which side are you on? On this whole fucking Captain America versus Iron Man? Captain America, dude. Because, like, in Avengers, like, there is that, like, you, I saw a clip in Avengers, and they were, like, talking shit to each other. It was awesome. From which one? I'm not gonna lie. I am on the side. Oh. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I am on the side of Captain America, but I don't, I'm not like, yeah, fuck Iron Man. He's stupid. He's wrong. Like, I understand. Like, he wants to take precautions. So, but, like, it, you know, what happened to Spider-Man, you know, Aunt May, there are consequences to... Uh, let, you know, haven't been Civil War yet. Shut up. You haven't read Civil War yet? Don't worry. I, I, I have been. I, I have. It's over there on my table. It's gathering dust. I'm going to get to it. Dude, you, you need I to read, read it. I, 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 read it no. I read it as soon as they announced Marvel Phase 3. Okay, okay. Yeah. This is... This is sort of... This... This is sort of Avengers related. You know that new movie coming up, Superman vs. Batman? Yeah. I said Superman vs. Batman because it's called Batman v Superman, but it's Superman's movie, so it should be Superman vs. Batman. I'm just not gonna talk about yeah, it. It's not super. It's not Superman's <laughs> movie. Wait, what? What? what is yeah, it? it's, it's officially <laughs> Man of Batman v <laughs> Superman is officially Man of Steel too. <laughs> No, what is it? Hey, they, 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 they've already discussed Batman vs. Superman is not a Man of Steel sequel. It is a you Justice League. You're saying that because J-Roar. It is, is, is it, no, it is, no. No, no, not from J-Roar. From Batman, or from BatmanNews.com. He, they, he, they've stated that it's not a Man of Steel sequel. It's a Justice League prequel. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Oh. That's what, the Batman, the BatmanNews.com <laughs> reported that um why is that a bad thing <laughs> no it's not a bad thing i'm just saying like man of, it's not a man of steel sequel because they they, they already wait, 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 wait. have so it's not superman's movie but it has his two greatest villains in it doomsday and uh lex luthor so it but it's not his movie that makes sense doomsday isn't confirmed lex luthor is in it Okay, wait, 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 never, 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 wait, 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 it wasn't dark side. I know it wasn't dark side. But um, I, I, now since what were you saying? I I I heard you say you're rambling in the background. Yeah, I heard fucking dark side was going to be at the end of it with this fucking robot army. Are you shit. fucking kidding me? Is this really going to be a Justice League fucking? God damn it! Yeah, no. Yeah. We were school Justice League. Marvel. Wait, 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 wait. Alex is still talking. Wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let's just let Alex Phoenix really quick, and then we will proceed to Avengers: Age of Ultron. Go ahead, Alex. We were fucking promised that it was Batman vs. Superman, but the more it is revealed, it's a fucking Justice League prequel, and I feel like we were lied to. Like, how, wait, what, why does it mean? We were like, oh, Man of Steel 2, no, it's a fucking Justice League prequel, what? How did, how, wait, hold on, hold on, Nemesis, how does this change anything, what you call it? Well, to be honest, this I was Superman only expecting Batman vs. Like, Superman. What, what changes anything? I walked in expecting Batman vs. Superman, not a Justice League prequel. Yeah, it, wait, just because it's a Justice League prequel, it, ha it has to be a prequel or a sequel to something. It can't, like, it's... Yeah. What are you talking about? That makes a lot of sense. So, just because it's a Justice League, technically, or just like, a Justice League prequel... Yeah, technically, no, technically... No, most of the Marvel movies set in Marvel Universe right now are, are, were Avengers prequels, technically. Yeah, that didn't make them bad movies. Okay, let, let, let's just... Yeah, but, well, I can, I can argue about that. Most of Marvel's movies were bad. Like, you know, like, okay, Civil War, right? Yeah. What if that, like, we were promised fucking Civil War. What if, like, 
as the movie came out more and more, it was turned out to be a fucking Guardians of the Galaxy movie with Captain America and Iron Man as background characters. It's the same you know, thing. that's what I like. It's the same thing, Nemesis. Guardians of the Galaxy almost has nothing to do with so yeah, I would be pissed. But Justice League is part like Ban vs. Superman has two of the main Justice League members. So if it's a Justice League prequel, that is pretty that's not that that makes sense. If like after they have the fight, they're gonna start building the Justice League because that that's just two of the main characters basically the two front runners of the Justice League like working out their differences. Oh, it's I not just think it, Look, if they if they, if they feel that if they revealed that Batman vs Superman was like a Suicide Squad a Suicide Squad prequel, then no, that's not the like, that that's not the same thing as it being a Justice League. Prequel. Well, you know, all I heard was it's going to be Batman vs Superman. Then I get all this news about fucking Flash and Green Lantern and their movies and one, Wonder been. Woman. So these are going to be what? characters we don't even fucking know. Like, we know them, but, like, movie-wise, we're going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, this is, like, the time I fought the fucking Reverse Flash. What the fuck? We've never seen that, you know? <laughs> like, it seems like they're rushing in the characters. Nemesis, I, I, I'm really surprised that you're so psychic with this, that you know what's going to happen. Well, I you, don't you, know what's going to happen, but, like, I'm just, I'm giving my know, thoughts. You know that Flash could... Flash is gonna say, "Oh, this is like the time I fought Reverse Flash." No, what, how do you know that's not? Why do you think that's gonna? What would make you think that's that's gonna happen? Look, look, because I don't care. I like that they that they're cramming in Aquaman and Wonder Woman. I'm okay with having Wonder Woman, but the fact that they have Aquaman and Cyborg in there, I don't like that. I'll be honest, I really don't like them cramming characters. It's like Spider Man Three. I really don't like them doing that. But right. where's all the amazing Spider Man Two? Yeah. Fuck, that movie. Fuck it to hell. I love that movie. Jamie Foxx no, was the shit. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx was the shit. Wait, what movie are you talking Fox about? Wait, what movie are you talking Fox about? Fox. What movie are you talking about? Amazing oh, Spider Man 2. Oh. Get molested by that movie. <laughs> Rhino's gonna be in it. He's a main fucking villain. He's in it for three fucking minutes. Fuck you. I I hated that. Not even for three minutes. Only like a fucking sixty seconds. And then the, the series no, is canceled. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? A villain we had never got on screen, who didn't even get fight time with Spider Man, is now will never now never get his chance. So they gave away the final shot of the movie in the trailer, in the first trailer. That was that was really stupid. I hate when they lied to us to get money. You know, I hate. That's what I hate about trailers, like how they like they add that Did one you... secret final scene, Wait. and then like as soon as you see that scene, it's like what the fuck? I've been waiting to see that scene the entire movie, and you want to end it right here. Well, cause you, cause your budget is, your budget is done. Like, like you, you know what's like, you know what, Nigma, you know what's like? What? Um, in the Avengers trailer, you know, you know that shot where they're all, like, jumping over that little hill in the snow? Yeah. You got one shot that everyone, like, orgasmed over? Yeah. Well, what if that was the last, what if that was the last shot of the Avengers? I would be pissed, because, like, what the, what, it, 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 it looks like something big is happening in that scene, so why you would know, you? that's what it's like. Exactly. Yeah, but that's different. Like, Rhino, he was advertised as a main villain. In the trailers, you see him as a main villain, like Green Goblin and Electro. And he's only in it for three fucking minutes. He's in all the posters. He's in all the trailers. He's in the fucking video game even more than he is in the movie. Yeah, that's what I hate. It's like, that's, it's like, are, you're, you're, you're overhyping this new character that no one's seen on screen before. Yet you're only giving him such an amount of screen time that you oh, end the really, movie like, thinking you're going... I thought think, that was fucking stupid, but just this. I am the rhino, man. Fuck you. Shoot him. <laughs> Why didn't they just shoot through the fucking lo- that hole? I don't get that. He lives in a bullet... Up. There's no... Well, 
is it real? He was he was standing a, far, a fair distance away. I don't think there's any. I don't sniper, think there's any snipers. Sniper, sniper. How could a sniper shoot Electro just for stepping in a puddle, but they can't shoot their rhino through his fucking face when he's oh, shooting up at little kids? He wasn't. He, the the policemen are like expert marksmen. They can't. Like he was standing afar. That huge, like mo like that huge suit and a tiny little head. He was standing afar. Like that. That's a kind of. That you can't. I can't, admit, uh, I can't really. Uh, I can't. I can't agree with you about the distance, but I can't agree with about angles because that angle was a really bad angle for a shot. Now, not, am I saying distance was a problem? No, because someone could have gotten into one of the buildings and aimed out the window. It's, it's just, they could have, but there was no shot clearly, from the angle. They, they could have, but they clearly like they maybe they had a sniper on the way, but it was clear it was clear that Rhino had like just appeared there, or like he he had been there for like only. A couple minutes, so they, they were like, "Oh, Rhino, the streets better be." Just well, we're somewhere talking about Marvel. Okay, who thinks that Spider-Man is going to get a cameo in the Avengers two? I don't, because they they nope. they they're done no. filming a long time ago. ago. There's no way they could put him in now. Unless they, unless, unless they him. did, unless they, they did. No, unless they did uh, like some special CGI thing at the very end. Yeah, unless they CGI him in, they're not gonna film yeah. this new If they do fit him in there, it's probably gonna feel really forced. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. The deal was made, so there's no way. Did you George Lucas did the re-edit of the, um Star Wars, the original Star Wars trilogy? Fucking talk about that. That was man. terrible. Don't, 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 didn't they edit a scene where Han Solo's neck moved so suddenly, okay. it was... He literally moved his head, so it didn't look like he was a killer. <laughs> Fuck you, George Lucas, it's rotten hell. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's, I'm all pissed off now. Fuck off. Okay, well, let's move on to, um, Avengers of Ultron yet again. Um, so, uh, I don't think no one's really, um, what do you call it, no one's really giving it giving this, um, a, what, what can I call it? No one's really giving, huh? Like the hype. Yeah, no, yeah, no one's really giving it this little thing, hype, and way when the movie was first announced, we've heard that an Avenger, um, will die in the movie, but I, no one's really seen to take it into consideration yet. So what I want to discuss with you guys is who you think's going to die. Now, for my opinion, who I think is going to die is either Black Widow or Quicksilver. Now, for Black Widow, I think she's going to die is because, um... Wait, wait, well, no, no, wait, 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 wait for, for Black Widow... Samuel L. motherfucking Jackson. He's technically one of the Avengers. Wait, wait, hang, hang on. Let me explain first, and we'll, we'll get on to you. I think he's more technically not than technically yeah. is. Okay, let 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 me explain here really quick, please. Um, okay, so uh, um, I think Black Widow is going to die because Scarlett Johansson was pregnant, and they had done her scenes first already. Stunt double. Yeah, yeah, they used partially stunt double, and then like with some without stunt double. So her scenes are done, and since she's pregnant, I think she's gonna want some time with her baby. So they probably killed her off, or they're probably gonna, and they're probably gonna bring her back somehow, like some secret Marvel Agents of Shield way. And then for Quicksilver, like two and three. Yeah, and then for um, Quicksilver, I think he's gonna die to be or die. One of the people who who can die because I, I really, X I really X. Hope, I really don't hope that. I uh, I mean I hope that. Um, Quicksilver or Scarlet Witch don't die because I, I hate it when shows or movies do that. That is that they introduce a character just to be just for the purpose of being killed. Yeah, yeah, just keep, keep him alive. Well, the only reason I think Quicksilver can die is because he's already an X Men, and I don't think Marvel really wants to like confuse the audience with their Quicksilver. So they might kill off both. You never know. They could kill off both. No, because. Yeah, they're separate characters in two different universes, but um. No, I said, I said, I meant Quicksilver and his sister. No, I don't think they will kill off Scarlet Witch. If you're but not gonna fight for the rights of a character just to kill them off right away, like Spider-Man. If they kill him off in Civil War, that's such a fucking waste. 
Well, well, they've they've already had the rights. Get them back. They've already well, they've already had the rights for Quicksilver. Well, they've already had the rights for Quicksilver. For, uh, like the longest time, either Quicksilver is just gonna disappear and we won't see him for a while, or he's gonna be killed off because hey, I don't I don't think they want to confuse the audience. I don't know because Hawkeye is confirmed and Hawkeye was one of the guys I was thinking was gonna die. But yeah, that's that was my number one candidate until Thor three was announced. Yeah, Hawkeye is no. kind of the obvious one. <laughs> I think they won't go the obvious route. I think they'll kill off someone like... I, I could, honestly, to be perfectly honest, I could see someone like Hulk dying because he hasn't been a major, like, key part in the Avengers movie so far. Like, Nor has he, he Nor has he is, he has his own... He hasn't had his own film since, like, 2008. The, I mean, honestly, to be honest, if you went back in the Avengers movie and picked out Hulk in every scene, you could... You would only probably have to do some minor rewrites to make the story... Like, he didn't play a key role in the Avengers or... Um, well, I guess we haven't seen Avengers yeah. 2 yet, but okay. he didn't play a key role in that. What were you saying, Nemesis? It was kind of awesome. I mean, that gets some, that gets you some brownie points on my part. Mm. Well, yeah, I know, but all... Like, like Hawkeye... Like, Hawkeye was awesome, no, but that doesn't, make, that doesn't make him a candidate to... That doesn't like it gives them brownie points, but it doesn't give it doesn't. It's not enough to keep them on. Like I, I guess the only reason I think the only thing that's keeping that would keep Hulk on, um, you know, in the franchise is because just his popularity as a character. Like you can't cast yeah, Hulk. In no, no one would watch Avengers without Hulk. Well, yeah. well, like. Okay, well, when when people went to go see the Avengers, um, when they walk out of the theaters, we're like, oh man, Hulk, he was the best part. No, I, I feel like they're kind of like, yeah, like Hulk had its mo- had his moments, definitely. Like he had some funny moments, but it, it, like it, like I keep on saying like like L Y K. Do a fake out. Like remember like, how we play- talked about Hulk going into space at the end of yeah, Avengers? Like they, they they yeah. What if they do that and that's the death? Scene, quote unquote. Oh, like, what if? That well, with that, well, well, with that in mind, who do you think's gonna die, Nemesis? Thor, definitely Thor. <laughs> but but oh, Ragnarok, Ragnarok, I honestly Ragnarok, don't like, Thor at all. Ragnarok for what? Thor. Ragnarok for what? Thor dies, and then Tony Stark makes a clone of him called Ragnarok. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Because, yeah, well, because they use him in Civil War. That's... So yeah, that could be Ragnarok. But the thing is, Ragnarok goes batshit crazy and like all evil, so they kill him and then Thor comes back, so... Oh, well. I don't know how they're gonna do that. I, I think that's like Infinity War shit, like where Ragnarok goes crazy. Well, that, that would be pretty weird if they kill, especially with the actor, but um... Yeah, well, they're but... gonna keep the actor like he's in that he's like an identical clone of him, so he's like not all the four. I, I would be I would actually probably be happiest with Thor dying because I've never really like I've never found him. He, he's kind of he like people's Avengers. <laughs> I, I don't agree with that. I think he's more like the Avengers Hawkman. Like he's Hawkman like the never Hawkman never interests me. Like he he was kind of just like yeah he's kind of like this. Like this ancient, um, like world. He's from this ancient world. He has this kind of cause, like godlike weapon. Like he has his mace. Thor has his hammer. He can fly. He he can fly, but not to not but not due to just like magical abilities, but due to his um like an artificial like Thor flies because of his hammer and um. (laughs) And, uh, not Hawkeye. Hawkman flies because of his nth metal belt and his wings. Like his wings are actually not what keeps him in the air. His wings are just used to maneuver. What what makes him float is he has an nth metal belt. So uh, Hawkman, Ruth, Hawkman never interests me. Is he? Isn't isn't he in um? And that he kind of reminds me of Thor in, in a lot. Is it Hawkman? Yeah, like. He doesn't fit because everybody else, it's like all science and oh, technology yeah. and this futuristic shit. And Thor's like, "Oh yeah, I have gods and 
you know, ancient times and shit. Like, yeah, just wait, it's shit. nice. It's nice to see someone. It's nice to see someone who doesn't fit. Like, not like it, you know, it, it'd be stupid if every single character in the Avengers like looked and acted the, the same. Because you know, he's like, he's like old World War Two. So like, he's not used to all this new <laughs> shit. Like, I figured that. I figured he's that, not Thor, really. Hmm. Well, what about? I I I do kind of like the whole fact that Thor's is Thor is um kind of like an outsider. He's kind of like, like he doesn't know anything. But that can like oh, I yeah, like, honest. I, I didn't. I didn't hate Thor too, but it was probably uh, out of like the whole like <laughs> after the Avengers came out or. I guess yeah. After the Avengers came out, Thor two, Thor two was definitely my least favorite movie, and it wasn't even was, like uh... yeah, it wasn't even like this movie is terrible. It was just like I was so fucking bored during that. I had no interest in the plot or characters, the, the film especially. To be honest, I almost fell asleep during that movie, and I saw it on my birthday, so I was trying to do my best not to fall asleep. Yeah, like I was just sitting there, like. I like. I I found I found that Thor movie way less boring than the first, and I actually liked it a lot. I never really liked the first Thor. I I liked the, the, all the crap it had. It's just I never cared for it nearly as much as I should have. I really thought it was one of the more boring weak points of Marvel. I, I never heard, like. How, I don't get how people hate Iron Man probably. three. It's a terrible movie. Iron Man 3 is a pretty bad movie. Not as bad as Iron Man 2, but it's not nearly as good as the first. But I still love it. Iron Man 3 is not a terrible movie. It's not a great movie, but... It's decent. It's not a terrible movie. Yeah, it's a, it's a borderline decent. It's right in the middle mark. Only redeem, redeeming thing about it is the awesome special effects and action. The only redeeming part of it. Effects are great the, in any the three, that is the part. The, the comedy is that it's really good. I don't like the. I don't like a lot. There's not a lot of stuff that I particularly like about Iron Man three. I would say it, it's like a good six. It's like it's, it, it, in which many people would say that's the worst place to be. It, it, like if something is like a one, it's like hilariously bad, and if something's a. It's it's amazingly good, but when something's like a five or a six, it's kind of just forgettable and boring. So I think that's the worst place to be. Mm, well, for um, Iron Man Two was just unenjoy unenjoyably oh, bad. Yeah, like, it was it wasn't funny, and like I hated the fucking whiplash from he was so wasted. The scene in the uh, race track was great. Then he's in I prison. Didn't believe- like, I couldn't believe that you use this. Like, what? Imagine if, imagine if the first two, like, imagine if Batman Begins and the, the Dark Knight, the whole, the villain the whole time was just a guy, was just like another guy in a bat suit. Like, they use no, the same the thing. The entire time was the fucking Chinese racial ghoul. Like Liam Neeson was just a fake. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That wasn't Razal. Okay, I'm confused with Batman Begins. Was Leon Nelson Ra's al Ghul or was the Chinese motherfucker Ra's al Ghul? Chinese was a fake? Yeah, they would keep it a PG. Wait, Chinese was fake. The Chinese one was fake, right? Yeah. Because it, I, I, I went to I went to the, to the con I went, Stockton Con, they had this toy and it was the Chinese Ra's al Ghul. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me, right? I mean, that can't be Ra's al Ghul because he appears... In, <laughs> Twist. Like, at the end of the movie, this Chinese guy's like, oh, I'm Raz Al Ghul, and Liam Neeson was a fucking fake out. That'd be bullshit. That's the same thing with the Mandarin. Oh my god! Like, that motherfucker I... who, like, puts fire, he was like, I am the Mandarin. I was like, fuck you. Oh my god. Man. And. I don't know. I don't know how this is possible, but somehow when Pepper got injected with the fire, the um, extremist stuff, that somehow gave the ability to do like perfect accuracy. Like she kicked the missile at him and then shot it with the laser. That yeah. Um, yep. That happened. Oh, yeah. They got me. Like, most of the time when they do the fake out of character dying, I'm like, no, that bitch is alive. But I I honestly thought Pepper was dead. Like, I actually had a moment that was like, Shit, really? Here's why I, <laughs> I know, that, that, was, that was really fucking like, whoa, did, did Pepper just really die? 
Here, here's why I didn't think she was dead because of because of Tony's reaction. He was like, "Oh shit, okay, whatever." He was like, "Oh well, I'll just get another." Well, I can't. <laughs> I, I can't worry. I can't worry now. In the middle of a battle. Huh? In that scene, the total change. The tonal change in that scene is so ridiculous. It goes from her like, like Tony, and she falls in the fire. He's like, and he's like hyperventilating. And then a second later, like like thirty seconds later, um, the Iron Man suit like you know taps a railing and falls apart. He's like, eh, whatever. Like he just, he just goes straight back like cocky. He's like, I'm the man friend. Like he, he barely. I, I felt like he was kind of having a panic attack at first. He was like, he, his, he was just like, he, he's like, he, like when he first saw Pepper like fall, he was kind of like having a panic attack. He wasn't, he didn't really have time to grieve. I guess, I guess that's kind of. But I feel like, I feel like the fact that he goes straight back to, like, oh whatever. I guess the army suit didn't work. You know, the fact that he just went back straight to jail. What? And he's like, like, oh, yeah, she wasn't hot anyway. I'll get back to that reporter. That was the first movie. Yeah, I, just, I, I never really I never really bought Pepper and Tony Stark's uh, love, like, their, their relationship. I never really, I always, like, they kind of feel forced a little yeah, bit. Yeah, all they are even, like, talk about saving the world. Oh, you have to save the world, Tony. Oh, my God, fucking drink, Pepper, it, shut up. Love it, couple sure. right here. Well, the whole time they were kind of like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yo, yo, know, we're just business partners. And then out of nowhere, Pepper's like, you know, want to go take a shower with me? They're like, yeah. It's like, when did you guys get become so, like, sexually attracted Pepper. to each other? Either Pepper is just a whore, or, like, they just oh. really forced that. That was forced. That was definitely, like, they they wanted to make, the, like, the writers weren't even buying the relationship themselves. So, so they're like, eh, let's just put in this one line so that... Yeah, it, the, it was like, I'm horny. Want to take a shower? <laughs> it's like, okay, you, you just lied to me about having dinner and basically, like, sent up your manservant robot to hit on me. Let's go, let's go fucking shower. Oh, I got nothing else to do on a Friday night. I have no friends. Um, the- this is the this is the most kid friendly conversation I've ever had. Oh well, yeah. We've had we've had. I I, 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 I you should ask, ask Dylan. I make I ask Dylan. My jokes are like the ex- most extreme fucking PG jokes you will ever hear. That he, and he, it's like it's so stupid. He laughs at him, but it's like. Oh, my- uh, I heard you like bad boys. Well, I don't want to brag, but. I went to the Disney Channel website without my parents' permission. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that one. <laughs> but, um, you stole that. She's 13 right here. Nemesis? Nemesis? Don't lie, you stole that. <laughs> yeah, I stole it. I'm a thief. <laughs> You're right. I'm Be your mother. Mother trucker. Okay. Um. So, Dylan, I'm gonna ask you, who do you think you who do you think is gonna die in Avengers: Age of Ultron? Well, really, other really the only for sure characters for me right now. I, I I'm sure there have been, I think you said that Hawkeye is confirmed to not die. Is, did one of you guys say? That yeah, Hawkeye? yeah. Haw- Hawkeye is confirmed for um yeah, Civil War. Okay. Well, considering I know that, so the Iron Man can't die and Captain America can't die because of Civil War. The war, the war, I feel like only kill off because of his unpopularity. Hawkeye, Hawkeye, I feel like they don't. I the only reason I think that they won't kill off Hawkeye is because they haven't done anything with him yet. Like, like if they exploited him, I feel like they're saving. I feel like they're saving him for something. Like something really and big Black is gonna happen. To and Black Widow, I also don't think is gonna get killed off. Hulk and Thor. Hulk and Thor are actually my most, my two um, main. I, I honestly, out of the two, I would hope that Thor would not. I don't. It's not like, oh yeah, I want Thor to die. I hate him. Well, 
Well, Thor's gonna die because of Ragnarok. I mean, that's just so much. But it's kind of like I don't really care. I don't really care about Thor. It's like when we watched the movie and he was like, "Oh, the seven like worlds of Asgard or whatever unite and blah blah blah." I don't give a shit. I really don't care. I don't oh, yeah. care. I, so I, it's kind of it's kind of like. It's not just Thor's character, it's Thor's universe, like Asgard, I think, I, Asgard, it doesn't interest me, it gets drained the way it works, it's, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Krypton from Man of Steel, I didn't really like the way it looks, it, it, it like, it's kind of confusing on a, the, a technical level, like how, like, what's the science beyond, like, what's the logic beyond, behind how the sound of stuff works, like, I know Asgard is a magical place, but and and I'm actually I actually really enjoy some of the magical characters in DC, um, you know like Zatanna and Zatara and um, Doctor Fate. I love those. I like those characters. I think they're great. But I don't know something about Thor is just kind of. I feel like Thor's powers don't have anything to do with each other. Like his suit. Like does does Thor have super strength? I think so. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Like I kind of. It's kind of like it's kind of like Martian Manhunter. Like I like Martian Manhunter, but his build, his abilities aren't related to each other at all. Like, like density shifting and mind reading are kind of like two. Like they don't have, or invisibility and sh- uh, shape shifting are just like they're kind of they're, like they don't have anything to do with each other, and they're they're just kind of random powers. Or the fact that he he's. Um, his one weakness is fire, and yet he has heat vision. I actually, it, it's, I actually so, must... honest, so who do I think is gonna die? I think it's either gonna be Hulk or Thor, but I hope Thor. <laughs> well, yeah. I... You know, they might be considering just doing a fake out with a death, like with Hulk. Maybe, maybe they'll just say Hulk's dead because he's in space. Which, if you've ever read the comics, whenever a Hulk first went into space, you know how you can't breathe in space and your lungs collapse and stuff? His lungs kept collapsing and then reforming and then collapsing again. Yeah. And I was like, why the fuck would the Avengers three. put him through that? They thought he was going to die. They didn't know he could regenerate his lungs. They thought he was long dead. <laughs> so why did they... They, they knew there was a... Like, under all that. Not, yeah, they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hulk is like, yeah, bitches, I have an army. Now you're gonna fucking suffer. And they're like, what? <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> well, I, 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 I would just love to, like, every... Every single time you you say something like that, Nemesis, I just imagine like a little cutout of um, like a, a cutout of um, like a, a screenshot from uh, Planet uh, Planet Hulk, and then like you know, one a shoulder pad and stuff, and just like so, like his mouth moves a little bit. It's like, hey, yeah, fucking guys, hey, see you, I'm, fine. I'm gonna beat you up or something. Just like your voice saying that coming out of Hulk's body. Make sure you giggle. Lelis is the voice actor, guys. <laughs> okay, well, um, Hazard, let's get your opinion on who you think is going to die for Avengers um, Ultron. Does I really don't know. It could be it could be anyone as long as that person isn't set up for something, and even if it is uh, someone is set up for something, that doesn't mean they won't die because they can always bring these bitches back. Yeah, that's They're right. Co- like in, 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 remember, kitties, in comic books, you know, don't consider anyone is dead until you see a fucking body. In comic books, no one's truly dead. <laughs> until you see a body, until you see a body, someone is dead. Like the Joker, for instance. Like the Joker. Huh? Still came back. Wait, like, who? We saw Jason Todd's body in a grave, and he still came back. Yeah, but he, like, Last you don't want to consider them dead for dead, dead for like a year. Like they're not Captain dead, America dead. Was dead for like six years. Who? Captain America. Oh yeah, from um. Like he died in Civil yeah, War. No. Wait, like uh, kind of a spoiler for you, Alex or Nemesis. I don't know why I'm calling him Alex for it. And um. Yeah. Civil War, I don't think you see him die. Either I skip that panel after, or I... Civil War, he's assassinated by a fucking black skull. No, but I like when I read it, I couldn't find the panel where he gets and assassinated. It wasn't, it wasn't black skull, it was cr- skull, it was crossbones. 
it's Red Skull. It was yeah, Red Skull. It was Black Skull. No, it was Red Skull. Chris Bones. Crossbones is the one who assassinated Captain America. He went out. Crossbones was in Ca Captain America: The Winter Soldier. He was that guy who fought. No, 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 no. no but in, the in, badass whose face was all torn to hell at the end of Captain America: Winter Soldier. That was Crossbones. No, but in in the comics, um, Red Skull assassinates Captain America. Nope, it was oh. crossbones. No, it's what, what? What are you talking about? It's it's it's. I could have sworn it was Red Skull. Yeah, it's it's Red Skull, isn't it? Snipes him while he's going. He, like he's on his way to court or something, and like he just snipes him. Okay, let me let me let me check it out. Cause I swear to God, I think it's Red Skull. Who assassinated? I'll bet you five Skype dollars. Five <laughs> Skype <laughs> dollars. <laughs> In attempt in the aftermath of Civil War, Captain America is taken by Shield into custody, where he is assassinated per, per the order of Red Skull. But the person who took the shot was Crossbones. So we were both right. No, we yeah we were both we were both right, but no one said who took the shot. All we said was just who who. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, I said he assassinated him. Yeah, but but, you, but you didn't Red say, but you, but but we didn't, but we but 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 we but but we didn't say who took, but we but we didn't, but we didn't say who took the shot. So I, I'm guessing nobody won. Red Skull, Red Skull, Red Skull, Red Skull, Red Red Skull, Red Skull had him assassinated. Crossbones assassinated him. Yeah, cr Crossbones was the one That's who assassinated him. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm support, I'm backing you up. <laughs> yeah. So, <You're> <laughs> I don't want your money, though. I don't want your money. Okay. And that, no, well, that, that was good. Well, I guess they were both right. I didn't know that. I I thought it was originally Red, Red Skull who took the shot. Yeah, let me quick scope then. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this, I want this on replay mode. <laughs> Who's gonna respond this now? On my montage on my YouTube channel. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is you doing? <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, check out this montage of me killing, of me killing Captain America. It's just the same shot over and over again with I like dubstep. Captain America. <laughs> that voice. You mean, oh. you mean, is that gonna be the next syndicate? <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for this podcast. It's already long enough. Uh, so, all right, who wants to give their um, words of advice first? Um, okay, this is my advice. Don't be a fanboy for DC or Marvel. There are better things to be fanboys over, like like, like McDonald's or Burger King. I, I, I'm a huge yeah, fan of Burger King. Okay. I'm a okay. huge fan of Burke. Okay, okay, Nemesis. Um, well, just make sure to swap well so you don't have an accident with me like me. <laughs> okay, and Dylan. Okay, guys. Okay, kids. Don't forget that if you see a man with a long beard and a beanie on standing outside of an ice cream truck and selling free candy, remember. Go in. Don't go in. Don't. Go in. <laughs> okay. Uh, remember, kiddies, um, uh, uh, get paid, get laid, get paid. If you bad man would whoop Punisher's ass, alright, I'm gonna hang up now. What? what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you can't say that! You can't say that! You never read a comic in your life! I've never heard a comic in my <laughs> life. I love so much, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what? where this went to. But but this is the nerd herd. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> this is the nerd herd. <laughs> this is the nerd herd. And this is our technically first episode since it, we Oh we remember to send me the videos. I the, will you know, you gotta you gotta send me your because I'm cool. What'd you say? You gotta send me Stop it, Hash, you're breaking the fourth wall. Guys, 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 I'm looking at Alright, so. Scratch my nuts a little. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video or whatever the fuck we do next. Peace.
Oh, coming back with me in the slide. Oh, I get to chop her. Oh, let's do it. Oh, blow it to pieces. Oh, I get to chop her. Oh, pieces boom. Oh.